So, wine three. Next on the agenda. Wine mm. three. We can't come to McLaren Vale. Well, we can't come down the road to McLaren Vale without doing a Grenache. Oh, Grenache. Mm. So we've got the... Oh, mm. My favourite. Your favourite? Mm-hmm. I thought champagne was your favourite. Oh, I'm talking about reds. Okay, mm. your favourite red. Mm -hmm. Okay. Burton's... Tell us. So we've got the Burton Vineyards, Old Vine Grenache. Yes. Tell us a little bit of a story about that while I, while I get us ready. So, Burton, the name, um, is Richard Hamilton's father. Okay, so it's, ah. it's named after, after his father. So, he's oh, his father's yeah. one. And, uh, yeah, so we've, Grenache is something that um, was new to me when I, when I joined this company. I hadn't right. become involved in Grenache before. So, I went out and into the market there and I chose a couple of um, Grenaches from, that were on sale from some notable companies in the region and tasted right. them all and I tasted so. them compared to the Grenache that I was making and these wines they were dark and deep and and hey, look at the colour black and I thought our wines know nothing like that it's, no. it's lighter and yes. fresher What's, what am I doing wrong you know? and so I played around with it and, um, and I must admit in my first year or so of doing it um, add a little bit of Shiraz to it to try and get a bit more depth to it. Oh, you're cheating. Okay. You're oh, cheating. Oh, you're cheating. Little little cheating. You, can do, you can do a little bit. You know, yeah. Yeah. Sort of 5% <laughs> to try and, try and emulate what I thought was the, the great winemakers of the world, well, of the region, the people who should know what they're talking about. Mm -hmm. Then it detracted from it. it. It just didn't really look like Grenache. Anyhow, so we took a punt and right. we started to try and make Grenache as it should be. You know, right, that lighter, lighter colour. And, and um, yeah. well, see, to, to me, look at that. Else. To and me, I think that's what Grenache is, though, isn't it? It is. It's perfect. It's, yeah. only, it's allowing it's the grape to speak for itself rather than actually trying to formulate a wine which is um, made you know, because people are, and this is looking back 20 years ago, it's yeah, looking right. at, you mm. know, where deep, dark reds is what people wanted. And that's yeah. What it is. Um, yeah. Rather than allowing the wine to speak for itself. I noticed that you keep going like this on the uh, napkin, that's good, oh, yeah. because that gives you the truth. So you're doing it against the, oh yes, all right, we're learning. Yeah. yeah. And, it's, and Grenache is just one of those varieties which is just, I love it. It's in yeah. one of the favourite wines in the cellar. It's Ooh. not the biggest wine. It's, um, it don't, doesn't have a lot of, doesn't have much oak influence at all. We've matured in um, either in vats, you know, large, large format oak vats, or in um, oak which is probably, you know, Six, seven-year-old barrels, so it doesn't. Okay, so so it gets a maturation, but not a. Yeah. yeah. But, but not a lot of no, um, oak really influence. Deep oaky taste. That's right. Yes. Yeah. So it's yes. it's a wine that we we want the fruit to express itself. Yep. We want a little bit of a concentration that oak maturation gives, so mm -hmm. you get a little bit of evaporation when you mature wine. It's not a set and forget, though, is it? It's not a set and no. forget. No. It's a hard work. Like for yeah. the winemaker, it's a hard. It, a lot of watch. Bit yeah. of labour in there. Yeah. A lot of watch. Yeah. Keep it on. Yep. And so it allows the fruit to speak for itself, but. To me, Grenache is, um, you know, it's it's part of the history of this re of this region. You know, it's you know what it's going to be, a massive part of the future. Oh yes, isn't yes. it? Yes, and I'd it's say um, so. You know, it was um, God, that's so beautiful. It was in some ways it was a line variety sort of. You know, people saw Grenache is now lighter. You know, does that make you mad? No? Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. I, it's, I, I, being a Pinot lover, I, I, a lighter wine is right up my alley. Yeah. yeah. And the look of this is it's stunning. Yeah. That colour is something else. Hmm. Right, I'm All right, we're going to have to taste. We've we, we, we we looked at it long enough. Mm. Oh. We, oh. Oh, it's, it's so fresh. Vibrant, yeah? It's so fresh. It is. It's, it's fresh so and fresh. vibrant. This is a reasonably youthful one. This is no, this current release is um is only um only only twelve months old. No, just just over twelve months old. Yeah, there's a trick to um make well a lot of people now and especially um in this area are making their Grenaches to drink right now. Yes, ready you know? to go. And yeah. I actually had a 2007 Grenache that had been put away mm. and totally different totally wine. Different. Totally different yeah. wine. Look, but the drink now, these are absolutely it's, superb. It's fantastic. But the way that I sort of tackle these wines is that they, mm -hmm. they are lovely and approachable now and even their freshness and you know, there's any, this thing will go with anything. Anything on the platter, okay. But, um, but it's got to look good in five or six years' time, or seven years' time, or ten yes. years' time. So, yeah. so I had yeah. a, um, a eight-year-old of, of this wine uh, a week or so ago. Mm -hmm. it just looked back there. It's just fantastic. Okay. It's a bit more complexity to yeah. it. So, so how deep. does that change over time? It's more complexity. It just evolves. You get a little wine, bit more, um, get a bit more earthy characters coming through. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yep. Which you're looking for a little bit. Of an, you know, it's Drops just a little of that sort of young fruity taste, and then yeah, it's so a little it, bit it gets more a bit around it. Yeah. So, yeah. You, so I've. Um, when I first started trying to make Grenache, you know, I think I look back and at my naivety in many ways. Now, Grenache 
as a variety, can mm -hmm. be quite tannic, can be really quite yeah. dry. It really grips, yes. Yeah? But, so when I first started making it, we were looking at trying to make good ash, um, uh, finding it to try and remove some of those tannins, and it never quite worked. So now what we do is we do the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. I, I look at good yeah. ash as being... Lean into the tannins a little. Well, I believe it... Well, to try and make an analogy, now, if you have a, wall, a plastered wall, okay, and there's a bit of indentation, you can find it or you can sand the whole thing back so it's all nice and smooth. Okay. Or you can plug the hole with something to make it a bit more depth. Oh, you just put a picture over it. Yeah. <laughs> or you can all around it. Well, that's what the label's for. Yeah. Um, and, and, and you can build it up. And what, we, what we're doing now is we're building the wine up. So we have very little, very little or almost no fining yeah. and just building the palate to try and augment those tannins to try and make them rounder and richer. So what you get now is a wine which almost appears sweet but it's bone dry. Okay. So it's got that roundness okay. and depth to it. And, yeah, and, and so you, it's that layered taste. Yeah, yes, fantastic. that's right. And, and you mentioned a bit about... I like that uh, metaphor. ...about the analogy with Pinot Noir. You know, I think that Grenache is the variety that Pinot Noir producers probably strive for. It's... it's oh, it, it that's is, a bit cool. Oh. It is, that's a big that's cool. That's what I was going to say. Our Tasmanian <laughs> viewers are arguing with you, but no, it's fine. And I love Pinot Noir. And I love well-made Pinot Noir. Right. But um, Grenache is just so, so reliable and so... Um, so much depth to it, and um, mm, that's, what I I got find. that's what I find. I jumped to when your palate finally evolves. Mm -hmm. This is from the Petrucci's, good friends of mine. Mm. When your palate finally evolves, you'll move into Grenache, and then when your palate evolves again, you'll move into something a little heavier because they've teased me for years about loving Pinot. Oh, yes, yeah. <laughs> well, you live in the oh, well, Why way the hell do you like Pinot? Like? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Pinot is a fantastic. It is. What, what am I saying is, I don't, I, I love Pinot Noir. I've made a lot of Pinot Noir. Oh, no, you don't time. have to backpedal now. No, no, no. no, 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 no. You've already told us Grenache is no, way every better. Every time I try and backpedal, we'll put the brakes on. Yeah. <laughs> You're on the Grenache train. We've heard so, it here first. But speaking of heard it here first, we've had this idea for a little while, and we want to run it past you as well. We're going to do a Grenache show. Mm -hmm. well, and we, it's evolving a little bit more. We were thinking we might even do a Grenache series. So we'll do McLaren Vale, we'll do Langon Creek, yeah. we'll do the Riverland. Yeah, we'll do Claire they, they are squawking yeah. and talking up there, Grenache. Yeah. They are. I wouldn't have believed I'm them if I hadn't have been that. there, but yep. I'll tell you what, they're going to come. And obviously the Barossa. Mm -hmm. We won't forget the Barossa because they always say we should be called McLaren Vale Wine Weekly because we never mention them, <laughs> but we'll, we'll mention the Barossa. So what we're going to do is we're going to get punters to nominate their Grenaches, mm. then we're going to get their Grenaches on, and then we're going to get somebody with some knowledge like yourself and some passion for it mm. to help us judge them, and then we're going yeah. to go Grenache all, region. one from each region, mm. and then we're going to get wine showcase, mm -hmm. and we're going to put on an event, mm -hmm. and we're going to bring some Grenaches from around the world as well, yeah. and then we're going to taste them off with some proper wine judges, table. Yeah. and then we're going to come up with the SA Wine Weekly Grenache of the Year. Oh, yeah. fantastic. Yeah? yeah. Good the idea. The best of the region and the best yeah. of the year. And, and of course, yeah. um, just looking at region and, uh, yeah. and, and the wine, uh -huh. a bit like the Fiano, you know, it, it, the Grenache is grown in the southern part of France. It's, yeah. it's grown mm -hmm. in Spain. So it's like the warm yeah. Mediterranean So it's areas. again Mediterranean. Yeah. yeah. And so it's, it, it sort of lends itself to, to those sort of warmer varieties. You know? um, so it's, it's just a... It's just a great drink. It's top of, it, it, it does all those things I was saying before. That mm -hmm. it, uh, it lends itself to have a second, second glass of this wine. You cannot almost resist it. I think. Second or third. Mm -hmm. Right. And let's, what are we going to pair it with? Of course, in moderation, of course. We don't want to overindulge. No, you don't no. want to ruin the palate. <laughs> sure. No. Or yourself. <laughs> so what is your pick for pairing? Obviously, you well, decide what are you going, what are you going on the platter. You go first. I'm thinking, let's, something go, let's go a little fresh. So I'm going to sit down here and grab a little piece of... Pear? Mm -hmm. oh. mm. We'll, we'll, we'll serve ourselves then. A little piece of fruit. We're going to go pear with it. Mm. What does a winemaker say about that? Pear? Mm. Oh, mm. I'll try. Oh, I won't be judged. Got not too over pairing. Just cut through. Mm. Mm. Subtle difference. Mm. Not much. But it's level up. Mm. Yeah, stick, stick to your day, day job, I reckon. <laughs> Come on, Paul. I think it is. I'd be a bit, a bit We're more. We're lowballing it. Yeah, in. I would. Um, I would go for. Um, oh, your your pairing was that good. Paul didn't even eat it. Oh, well, just no, 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 you don't have to. I'm having a waltz. Save me some. Save me some. That's why we have the plate here. Yeah, it's such it's a lovely taste. Yeah. I love pear. It's great. Fantastic. Just yeah. not with grenache. Pear and walnut salad. Okay. Oh, excuse um, me. <laughs> so we're going. We're going ham or? I would go for the ham. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe not the chorizo, but maybe the ham. Yeah. Yeah. So we try it. Yeah. Can you eat a whole piece yourself, or you want to have half of this? Oh, tell us, Paul. 
Well, there's my H there, isn't there? It doesn't matter either way. We've got a piece each there. It doesn't matter. Leave the rest on the plate. Yeah. Thank you very much. Making a mess of Mark's plate, though. That's all right. That's the point. It did look really nice, though, didn't it? What's in the shame about food is you've always got to destroy it in order to enjoy it. I know. All right. Christmas all year round was what I heard about this ham. Mm. Locally sourced? Maybe they took me a man for it. I'll just kind of finish what you had. Much better pairing. Yeah, it's, it's nice. Bit, it's a bit of a smoky nice. flavour there. Mm. Still doesn't do much for the, no. the flavour for me. Mm. No. You think about more pate? Something perhaps? a little bit, maybe more of a pate, mm. maybe more of a cheese blend. Mm -hmm. mm. I tend to like my cheese and my, my reds. As okay. I start moving into the reds, I like my cheese. I'm going to say, let's uh, mm -hmm. try the, the cheese, not the blue cheese, the cheddar. Something oh, in between. Yeah. 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 Now, this cheddar's from Tasmania, I heard. Mm. Some so of the best. It's a, a quality cheese. Yeah. And it's so it doesn't overpower. The, I couldn't find a cheddar that didn't overpower the wine. Okay. So. Go for it. Cut up, cut so that's something a little bit, little bit yeah. medium. Yep. We'll, we'll try that. All right, beautiful. Let's do a little bit of this. Yes, yeah, just mm. not, not heaps, I reckon. No, just a little. Mm. Now, would you like to pair it with anything? Or would you I'm like just going to go straight this? cheese, yeah? You're going to go yeah. straight cheese? Yeah. Don't mind me with my yeah. little slice. Thank yep. you. Mm. Oh, it's good cheese. There we are. Mm. Little slice. Feel free. Thank you very much. Mm. Do you know the history of wax and cheese? Please say yes, but I don't know the answer. No. Mm. Oh, way better. Mm. Mm? Not just because I chose it, but mm. maybe a little bit. But nah. It's a lovely cheddar, isn't it? It is, isn't I it? I love cheddar. Yep. Oh. That's my favourite pairing. Yeah. Yep. A little bit of cheese, a little bit of red. Mm. Oh, it's pretty with obvious, that. isn't it? Mm -hmm. One of us knows food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're loving the colour. The you can't, get, the the, you can't get over the, the colour, can you? beautiful. It looks so vibrant. Yeah. It's just so vibrant. It does. It just yeah. entices you. You can't help. You're irresistible. Yeah, it's the, yeah. Mm. it is a beautiful colour. Are you talking about the wine or jade? Um, <laughs> it's, the, it's the red lipstick. Oh, right. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> it matches the... It matches the so I don't think she's got lipstick on it. It's just the wine. Ah. It is. Yeah. yeah. It's just mm. the wine. I'm just going to be permanently stained yeah. now after it, all my life. As long as it stays on your lips, not on your teeth, you'll be fine. <laughs> oh, but can you see, see what I mean? It's got some elegance to it, but it's got that roundness. Yes. And, uh, yep. Mm. No, cheese it's pairing is the win. Yeah, it does. Yeah. It's, it's not a shy wine. It's, no. Nice. It's, um, it's um, you wouldn't want to get... And do you want to tell us anything about the vineyard? Where does it come from? Or mm. it the vineyard? Like? You can see the vineyard just out here. Yeah. Just out here in oh, the wow. vineyard. It's, um, it Massive sign right behind us, Burton's. Yep, Burton's Vineyard, that's right. Yeah. Mm. So Directly that's where it comes from. Mm. Mm. So you can see it. You know, it's just not often that you can go to mm -hmm. a place and try the wine and then look out and see where it's grown. It's part of it. Part of um, um, wine is to have a sense of place where it comes from. Yes, and very the food. Nice. Yes. You, know, you can say out there, this is where it comes from, and it gives you a exactly. sense of being there. You know, it's yes. like the difference between travelling and going to a place as compared to reading about it in a book. You know, mm. you can you can travel somewhere, or you can read as much as you like, but you can never get a feeling of the ambience of it unless you've actually been unless there. You've you know? immersed yourself there. Yeah, exactly. and, and get an idea. And yeah. of course, as a traveller, you only get a snapshot of it. You know, if you, yeah, it's one of the problems I have with being a tourist is that you get a snapshot of a place and that is, that is your memory. But at least it's better than... Well, that probably, that probably leads us into come to the cellar door. Exactly. Yeah. Come Experience to the cellar door. Experience the place because yeah. the whole atmosphere paired with the wine and paired with you know, mm. your food pairings as well, it just creates a whole atmosphere. And the people. Actually drinking the, wine. The, the, the people, people here are very as well. um, special here as well. And um, great area for kids. It is. Great. Yeah. Which is uh, important for yeah. me. Yeah. I've, I've asked them if they could have a nanny, so I could actually come here and someone <laughs> so look after my kids. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, uh, While you drink your bottle of Fiano, okay. Well, it's not in the Fiano, but I'll, I'll be moving on to the Grenache pretty quickly, I reckon. Yeah. See? Okay. Ah, he's been better to Grenache. It's also about wine, it's got to reflect the year as well. You know, sort of, so, so 2020, for example, is uh, a year which didn't produce um, you know, the super deep, dark colours that we would get in some, some varieties. Yeah. So you get this sort of vibrancy, um, mm -hmm. the shape, and that if you compare them with, say, the um, the 2019 is a little bit deeper, you know, in yeah. colour, and then that just reflects just what the just what nature provided that year, 2021. Mm -hmm. um, well, we're excited, aren't we? A, we bit, are a, bit, excited. a, a bit deeper again. So okay. lovely round flavours, lovely depth, uh, but uh, and plenty of fruit. 
Love your fruit. Yeah. Just outstanding. Yeah. Just, um, You're excited, eh? I am very excited. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, some um, fruit to yeah. really make some cracking wines. Yeah. I reckon if I was a, a marketer or a salesman, I'd be just looking forward to this year so much. Right. Mm. Excellent. Mm. What a, I don't know how we're going to top that. Actually, I do know how we're going to top that because we're going to move on to Cap Sap. Okay. Yeah? Let's do it. Let's do that.